Hello, uh, it's Nick B. What I've got for you today is, well, the lock the, or the key is branded global. Oh, come on, focus. There you go. Um, there's absolutely nothing on the lock body uh, to say what make it is or anything. But I think, well, looking at that key, uh, that looks like a Vichet key to me. Um, I'm going to test my editing skills and I'm going to do this live um, on the on uh, on this video. If you see a picture appear with a picture of a Vachette key, I've managed to work out how to do it. If you don't, um, I haven't. <laughs> so there you go. There's a li little bit of tension for you. Um, the lock itself is an absolute solid lump of steel. It's really weighty. Uh, it's obviously somebody... Uh, intended it to be quite high security uh, but forgot to do anything about the actual core uh, i suspect that this would be really hard to uh, physically attack whether by drilling or anything like that everything seems to be made of steel uh, the keyway is pretty paracentric uh, so much so that i have to use two picks to to actually get it the key the key pins actually rest on this piece of warden down here and if you start trying to lift them from that warden uh, they overset and the pins have got an overset trap in them as well um, so yeah interesting interesting little lock um, so yeah um, let's see how we got on with picking it uh, picking video now coming up thanks a lot okay got the global in the vise uh, let's give the key a little spin Pull that out. Quick look at the bitten. Not the uh, not the most savage of bitten. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick peek down that keyway. Um, what I found with this lock is that uh, trying to pick from this ledge here, uh, I over uh, overlift everything and overset stuff. So what I need to do is start picking from here with a, a very steep, thin hook, uh, and then. I go in afterwards from the ledge with a much shallow hook uh, and just finish setting everything uh, from there. Okay, let's see how we get on. So as I say, just going along the, from the bottom, just feeling for binding pins. Okay, I think that's one. Okay, it's a lock that doesn't give a lot of feedback. I think I've got the stuff that needs to be set from below done. So just sneak in now. And find, I actually have to turn the pick on its side. And okay, and yeah, we're starting to get somewhere now. A lot better feedback. And there we go, we've got it open. I have got this before, it's got some strange pins in it. Let's see how we go. And we can zoom out for a more overall view. Bit of focus, okay. Got the key, so I can lock that up. And again, just got a little plate on the back. Must get around to replacing these screws. Having said that, I won't get it too many more times. Having uh, it's probably the last time I'll get it with doing it for this video. So they are 
the heads are stripped a little bit on them. Okay, a little turn. I really must buy myself some new shims. Everything I've got is starting to be uh, a bit bent up. Yeah, that's just a tight spot there. Yeah. Uh, that's worth a note in all fairness. If you're struggling to get a shim in, just give the uh, the core a little bit more of a turn. Uh, sometimes that's all that's needed to... Uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Drop my follow-up. Okay, back at it. And one nice smooth motion. Push the core out. Okay, so you can see the pins in that uh, matching the the bitting of the key in that decreasing height going down there. Let's do, let's do something I don't normally do. Uh, I'll leave that and take those out after. Watch them out. And the flea circus is back. Okay. I am really good at finding pins in my carpet. So I'm going to go looking for that in a second. I'm not going to spoil the video. I'm looking for it now. Okay. So that's the spring from one. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. These springs really long come into the keyway. That's why I'm taking them out at, uh, at this point. Okay, quick look down that car. Nothing in there. This really is a solid, heavy lump of, uh, of steel. Um, somebody intended for this to be security in some sort of way. Uh, not too much from the picking with uh, only standard drivers in there. But uh, obviously they, they were wanting to protect against physical attack. Uh, let's just have a look. How some of those pins interact. So yeah, every single one needed picking. And let's dump out those key pins. And this is where there's only this is the only bit of interest. Each one of the key pins is the same. Uh, but it's got a real heavy serration on, which I think is what was causing the uh, the overset problems. Because uh, once you've got once you've got that uh, serration past the shear line, come on, you're going to really struggle to recover from that. Okay. Give you a close up of those. So there's all the pins bar one key pin, which is uh, somewhere in the carpet. As I say, I'm, uh, over the years I've become very good at, uh, at finding pins. Uh, while, while I'm on this point, actually, a few tips for that. You can get yourself, if you get a strong torch, hold it very low to the floor 
uh, it creates a lot of shadows you'll be able to see the pins more uh, my torch has actually got a, a big magnet on the base um, if it's steel springs and stuff that you're looking for I tend to just sweep that over the uh, floor and I've, uh, I've found some very very fine springs that way obviously it needs to be steel and magnetic uh, so it doesn't work for everything but there you go there's the uh, the global uh, possibly made by Vachette um, that's my pick and gut thanks for watching Ah. There you go, <laughs> finished.